Hello friends, welcome to AKS Investment, Sabka Fyade watch this video. Adnok announces final offer price and record demand for the IPO of Adnok Logistics Services PLC The final offer price for Adnok Logistics Services PLC's IPO on the ADX has been set at 2.01 per share, at the top end of the previously announced price range of the IPO. The offering saw the largest demand globally for an IPO this year and was significantly oversubscribed by local, regional, and international investors with total gross demand for the IPO amounting to over $125 billion, equivalent to over $460 billion, implying an oversubscription level of 163 times in aggregate, the highest ever oversubscription level for a UE book build IPO. The offering raised gross proceeds of approximately $769 million equivalent to approximately 2.83 billion, with an implied market capitalization for the company of approximately $4.05 billion, equivalent to approximately $14.9 billion. Admission is expected to commence on Thursday, June 1, 2023. Abu Dhabi, UE, Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, PJSC. Adnok or the selling shareholder, today announces the final offer price, the final offer price, for the shares offered by it in connection with the initial public offering, the IPO or offering, and listing on the ADX of Adnok Logistics Services PLC, the company or Adnok LS, a global energy maritime logistics leader, following the successful conclusion of the book build and public subscription process. The final offer price for the shares in Adnok LS offered by Adnok via the offering has been set at 2.01 per share, implying a market capitalization, at the time of admission, of Adnok LS of approximately $4.05 billion equivalent to approximately 14.9 billion. The price range for the IPO was previously set between 1.99 to 2.01 per share, meaning that the offering was priced at the top end of the previously announced price range of the offering, following significant demand from both local and international investors. Based on the final offer price, the total offering size is approximately $769 million equivalent to approximately 2.83 billion. The book building process generated orders of over $125 billion, equivalent to over $460 billion, in aggregate from, I, professional investors in a number of countries, including the UE, the professional investor offering, and, 2, UE retail investors including employees of Adnoc Group companies residing in the UE and UE national retirees of Adnoc Group companies residing in the UE. Together, the UE retail offering, implying an oversubscription level of 163 times in aggregate, the highest ever oversubscription level for a UE book build IPO. Commenting on the historic book build for a UE IPO, Kale Dalzabi, Group CFO of Adnoc said, We are delighted with the unparalleled demand for Adnoc LS shares from UE retail investors as well as the local, regional, and global investor community. This offering saw the largest demand globally for an IPO this year to date and achieved the highest ever oversubscription for a UE book build IPO. This record setting listing is the sixth company Adnoc has successfully brought to market within five years and marks the next remarkable achievement in our ongoing value creation program. Adnoc LS is a highly attractive value proposition underpinned by strong and long-term growth credentials and a progressive dividend payout, cementing our role as a critical catalyst in attracting global capital. Adnoc welcomes its new investor base to partake in our continued growth story, as we continue to deliver sustainable growth for Abu Dhabi, the UAE, and our shareholders. The company confirms that the previously announced increased offering size of 1,405,714,765 ordinary shares, equivalent to 19% of the company's total issued share capital, has been fully allocated, resulting in gross proceeds of approximately $769 million, the net proceeds of which will be received by Adnoc, upon settlement.
Admission is expected to take place at 10 o'clock a.m. UE time on June 1, 2023, subject to customary closing conditions, under the ticker symbol at Nichols and Eisen A01268A239. Upon admission, Adnock will continue to own a majority 81% stake in the company. Alsea Marine Supplies Equipment COPJSC National Marine Dredging Company PJSC Alpha Warrix Limited, ultimately owned by Abu Dhabi Development Holding Company LLC, and Abu Dhabi Pension Fund. Together, the Cornerstone Investors, will, in each case, directly or indirectly, subscribe for 23.4% of the offering via the professional investor offering, through their IPO Cornerstone Investment Agreements. Together, the Cornerstone Investment Agreements, announced on May 16, 2023. The Cornerstone Investors, subject to certain conditions, will not offer, sell or announce an offer of any shares they have acquired under the Cornerstone Investment Agreements for a period of 12 months following admission. Following the completion of the subscription period of the offering, the size of the first tranche, as defined in the UE prospectus, of the offering, reserved for first tranche subscribers, as defined in the UE prospectus, was set at 12% the size of the second tranche, as defined in the UE prospectus, reserved for investors in the professional investor offering, was set at 85% and the size of the third tranche, as defined in the UE prospectus, of the offering reserved for employees of Adnock Group companies residing in the UE and UE National Retirees of Adnock Group companies residing in the UE, was set at 3%. Investors participating in the UE retail offering will receive an SMS confirmation of their respective allocation on May 30, 2023. Total demand across the tranches in the UE retail offering amounted to more than $31 billion, in excess of 269 times oversubscribed. Subscribed. Malay's company UK LLP DIFC branch acted as the independent financial advisor to the company. Citigroup Global Markets Limited, First Abu Dhabi Bank PJSC, HSBC Bank Middle East Limited and JP Morgan Securities PLC acted as joint global coordinators and joint book runners. Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank PJSC, Arkham Capital Limited. CRA Tilda Copyright Dit Agricole Corporate and Investment Bank, EFG Hermes UE Limited, acting in conjunction with EFG Hermes UE LLC, International Securities LLC and CCA Tilda Copyright TA Tilda Copyright GA Tilda Copyright NA Tilda Copyright Rail acted as joint book runners. First Abu Dhabi Bank PJSC acted as the lead receiving bank. Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank PJSC. Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank PJSC and Almeria Community Bank acted as the receiving banks. Sharia Compliance The Sharia Supervision Committee of each of first Abu Dhabi Bank PJSC and Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank PJSC has issued a pronouncement confirming that, in their view, the offering is compliant with Sharia principles. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.